Hello and welcome to the video by Trump Excel. I am Sumit Bansal and in this video I will show you how to create actual versus target value charts in Excel. So here I have the data for four quarters and I have the target values and the actual values and I have used this data to create these two charts. Now these two charts does the same thing but they're just made differently. If you look at the chart on the left you will see that there are two bars the gray light gray bar are the target values and the blue bars are the actual values and you can see that whenever the actual value exceeds or goes out of the gray bar that is when the target is met and exceeded and when it is within the gray bar that is when the target has not been met and here on the right we have a different kind of chart where the target values are shown as these red dashes and the actual values as these blue bars whenever the blue bar crosses the red this red dash that is when the target is met or exceeded and if it doesn't which is the case in q2 q3 and q4 that is when uh, the target is not met now let's see how to create these two charts using this data so i have this sheet here and i'll show you how to create these two charts so let's first select this entire data set now i would go to insert tab and here within the charts group i would click on stag column chart so i would click on this and it gives me a chart like this now I would click on the actual values which are red value red bars in this case right click and go to format data series and when I do that it opens the format data series pane here on the right if you're using an excel version that opens up a dialog box you'll find all these options within that dialog box now in this case what I'll do is I would put these actual value bars on the secondary axis so I would click on this and now I would select these blue bars which are the target value bars you can right click and go to format data series again since it was already open I have the options here and here you'd see there is something called as gap width and the gap width is this part this white space here let me delete these lines so the gap width is the width between these two bars and as of now let me right click go to format data series here as of now it's 150 percent which is 150 percent of this bar what I'll do is I will change it to 100 and when I do this you can see that this gap reduces and which in also means that this bars width increases so I have the bar like this if you want you can increase the width of this and decrease the width of the actual value so if I click on actual values I can make this from 150 to maybe 200 oops 200 and in that case you can see that this width between these red bars has increased so now it looks better and this is my first actual versus target value chart now it's better to have a, a contrast in these bars and the target values the reason is in this chart you can see that this is red and this is blue but if these are printed especially in black and white then you may not see the difference if these are very close you may not be able to identify it so it's better to have a contrast so in this case what I'll do is I would change the color of this to maybe something like a light blue and make this a dark blue something like this so you can see now that these data points these uh, gray these bars blue bars are the target values and these blue bars are the actual values even if it's printed you'll be able to make it out now one very important thing to note here is that in Q4 you may think that the target was met but in this case the numbers say a different story the target was not met this is happening because there are two different axes so you can see for the primary axis it goes from 0 to 20 percent but the secondary axis goes from 0 to 14 percent which means that if a value here is 20 it will be here at the top and if the value on the secondary axis is 14 it will be at the top which is not correct so what you need to do is simply select this axis and delete it and as soon as you do this the entire chart would now comply to this axis and you will have the right chart so that's very important and this is how you can create the first actual versus target value chart now let me delete it and show you how to create the second one so again I would select this entire data set I would go to insert and I would insert this one a clustered column chart and these two bars are separately plotted in this chart and what I need to do is I would select the target which is the blue ones target ones right click and go to change series chart type and now in the change chart type dialog box I would change this to line with markers chart and now your chart would look something like this and again 
I do not need these lines. I only want the marker. So I would click on this and in the format data series pane, if it is not visible, simply right click, go to format data series. And here I would come to fill and line and I would say no line because I do not want this line. I only want the markers. And then I would go to marker and in marker options, I would come to built in because I do not want these circles, these dots here. I want a proper dash so I can change the type and I can select this dash here, but this is very small so I can change the size as well. I'll increase the size to let's say 20 and this looks fine. Again, as I mentioned, it is better to have a contrast so I can come here and I can change these to let's say light blue or alternatively I can change the color of this uh, marker to red and make these as light in color and I've noticed that when the markers are in red color or in bright colors those are received well by the audience because they can instantly see that this was the target and it was not met so this is how you can create the second actual versus target value chart in Excel that's it in this video I hope you found this useful thank you and have a nice day